Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to show you a new Brahmin exploit. What you want to do is place down two foundation concretes. The whole idea behind this is you want to pretty much have two of the Brahmin on the same concrete. The only way that you're going to be able to place one of these Brahmin on top of the foundation is only if the concrete is not too high. So as of course, like I'm going to show you right here, it's too high so I cannot place it down. For example, when I try to place down this camp object, it'll pop up with the red notification on the right side just telling me, hey, you cannot place it down either due to support or it's, uh, you know, maximum build, which we will get to that eventually. For now, let's go back to what we were previously going over, which was the foundations. We want to lower down the next foundation over and just lower it down a little bit. You can lower it down all the way, but I tried to not do this so that it does not hit the floor of the actual uh, in-game world. And so from there, you'll notice that, hey, you can place it on the Brahmin. So when we try to do the other side, it's not going to allow you to do this. I think this was all intentional by Bethesda's part. So what you want to do is grab another foundation and then place down the same, uh, you know, I don't know why I changed the color of this. You do not have to do that, by the way. But going back to what I'm saying, place down the next, um, basically the next Brahmin and it should be placeable. Once it is placed down, you want to then grab that and drag that over to the next foundation over, the next concrete one. Now, what I like to do personally before moving the foundation is I like to adjust the Brahmin a little bit over so that this way when I place down this concrete foundation next to the other one, this way it'll be placeable. Sometimes there are, you know, times where, for example, right there, it'll pop up red showing that you cannot place it there. This way you might have to adjust it, rotate it until it fits just right once you have it rotated just right then you want to make a blueprint of all of it unfortunately this next part I guess I only blueprinted half of it there so I have to go back and then make a blueprint of it again so I'll just select it and then select every single piece there then make a blueprint of it name it whatever you want to name it and then from there boom this is an example right there on the bottom the one right here which cannot be placed but the one on top for sure can be placed what you want to do is then store the foundations that you just placed down with the Brahmin on top and then you want to try to place down yours. You'll see that hey you can place it down and then you want to trigger it. Again there are times where you'll make a blueprint of this and it'll say it cannot be supported. From there you'll just you know want to just make a blueprint of it again and rotate it until it just you're able to do this. It'll spawn perfectly right there in the middle and then you can continue to just store one foundation to the next. I think this is really useful for a lot of you out there because I was able to get 300 XP at least every 2 seconds which is pretty dang fast. You just have to make sure that you use a few buffs. So make sure that you eat some cranberry cobblers because that will give you an XP buff. Use some lunch boxes. You can even use an unyielding armor set just to make sure that your intelligence is high. Uh, obviously make sure that the intel is high on your character and any of that extra XP will do you good on there. If you're wondering why I did not use a third Brahmin, the reason for this is because I believe Bethesda probably had an idea that this was going to happen. When you try to place a third Brahmin next to it, you'll try to place it down, but it'll pop up a warning saying maximum build, which is kind of odd when you can place down three anyways. So that's the crappy part about this, but at least you can place down two of them and get a good amount of XP. I hope that this video has helped out, and if it has, give it a thumbs up. If not, I guess, you know, give it a video, uh, give the video a thumbs down. I appreciate all the feedback and hope that all of you are doing good out there. Thank you for taking the time to watch these videos. As always, have a great day. Take care of yourselves and live happy. Peace, guys.